Virtual reality presents unique affordances for narrative construction by allowing people to immerse themselves in their favorite story worlds. Strange VR Things works within the narrative of the TV show, but allows users agency in crafting their own story. For this experience, we allow fans of the show to not only explore the Hawkins Laboratory, but also enact a crucial scene that occurs off screen. Though the show alludes to the scene, VR allows viewers to fill in the narrative through their own dramatic agency. In Strange VR Things, the interactor takes on the role of Eleven, a young girl with telekinetic powers. The experience takes place very shortly after Eleven comes into contact with the monster and releases it into the real world. As the interactor explores the space, he will notice a lit table strewn with several reports about Eleven's telekinetic powers. Around the lab there are several items, including boxes and explosive lab equipment. As the interactor walks around in the space, he will hear the monster growling and become aware of the monster's nearby presence. The interactor can use his powers to lift the boxes in the air, move them around, and throw them aside in the same manner as Eleven does in the show. When the interactor presses the elevator button, the monster finally emerges from the portal. The interactor must leverage his powers by throwing available items at the monster while waiting for the elevator to arrive. When the interactor throws explosive objects at the monster, it will seemingly be caught in the explosion and disappear. However, like in the show, the monster reappears. The interactor can only use his powers to slow the monster down while waiting for the elevator doors to open and take him to safety. Strange VR Things is an example of how virtual reality can provide fans a way to participate in the show's narrative. By focusing on an important off-screen moment, our experience does not break the show narrative, but rather extends the canon and allows for more creative and dramatic user agency. We also hope others can learn from the experience we have created, particularly in establishing the conventions of virtual reality as a new narrative medium.